Oh, my brother. So some two weeks ago, we started a, a project for ourselves where we had free stuff sitting around and we started thinking what we can do with it. And one of the things we did was we did this vertical garden out of a tube that we got for free. Doing it this way is our original idea, but this is not hydroponics. It will be in the soil. So see the stumps of wood, which are being lined right now. Now placing the, the smaller wood around. See a leaf sitting from last year. I think it also has grass and other things and some branches. That's all fine. This is all the stuff we want in there. Now we come to the last step. And this is will be the most painful. What we have done. We created this. This this was something we got for free, a tube from Bob. Jan went ahead and drilled holes in it. Bada went ahead and filled it using the hegoculture technique. Across the globe, do vertical gardening. So it's nothing that we invented. The only invention would be we found this free stuff. We are repurposing is upcycling it and see how we go with it. At the same time, I started some seeds indoors in my hydroponic system. And I just wanted to see how they grow and how I can eventually move them over here. So let's rewind back and let's see where we started. So I'm in the kitchen. No, we are not cooking. But you have seen me using my hydroponic system uh, before. So part of uh, starting the seeds, I'm doing a couple of different ways just to get ahead. What I've realized, uh, starting seeds in hydroponics somehow grow quicker. They, they germinate quicker. And I've found myself more successful with, with their germination compared to, I will, I'm also doing uh, seeds in regular modules in uh, soil. And I'm also direct sowing. Not only I'm doing the hydroponic technique, I will use modules where you use soil and I will do some direct uh, sowing also just, just to figure out the differences. And this is the whole thing about learning. Now, if you remember my hydroponic system, I use these kind of uh, pods. They fit into something like this. Then they go into one of those uh, hydroponic systems after I put the seed actually, um, and th then we let it grow. Now, with these pods, it suggested that you soak them up front. I'm not doing it. My reason is, once I soak it, it becomes wet. These are small seeds. Trying to get seeds in the hole becomes a bit of difficulty. So what I'll do instead is, I'll put the seeds in the holes. I'll put it in its jacket. I'll put it there and keep on holding it with my hand for a few minutes. I'll, I'll put some something on top. Once it soaks, it will take over. So the idea is simple. What I'm doing, arugula. And I've mustard. This is the muzana kind. And I'm doing a spicy globe basil. So let's start with basil. And I've already marked all of my hydroponic system. Uh, accordingly so i'll show you a couple on the camera but then it's a, it's a slow process so i won't bore you so a couple of seeds in here i do have a toothpick when i need to push them in this one they need it i'm using it so a few seeds So I did the basil, basil is supposed to go in this one. So be careful that you don't spill your seeds over. Just put it in here. As I said, the recommendation is soak them. The plug is popping up a bit, but I'm just pushing it with my fingers. So let me go ahead 
and finish all of these pots, filling them. Then I'll put them on the modules where they're supposed to go. And then we'll wait. Okay, so fill all the pods. Everything is in here. Last step. Connect it back in here. There's water already in there, which I did it before I start videotaping. And then a bit of liquid fertilizer also went in it. Okay, let me fix this. Here we go. You cover with these. For the first few days to create that dome effect. For the first few weeks, as I said, as germination is happening. Once it starts germinating, you uncover it, let it grow. I'm not about to use this system. The system is pretty good. You can keep on increasing the height of it. Pushing this button uh, is uh, whenever you put fertilizer, so it runs the system. So you the light on, and here we go. So now in some time, all these uh, pots should start producing uh, whatever seeds we put in. So here is our one week update uh, for what we started. You see over here the moisture, that's a good thing because that's how the domes are happening. So let's open a few. You don't see anything over here, but I can see it. So you can see there is something which is germinated right now. Let me open a few others. A plant is happening. A plant is happening. What happened was I opened these yesterday. And I realized that other than these two, there was nothing else which was germinating. So even if I open something else, I'm realizing there's nothing. So I went ahead and added seeds. So for the time being, for my endive, what I'll do is I'll let them be covered because they were seeded back, even this one. And I do see something germinating already. And if it was from yesterday that I started, it's surprisingly quick. I let those two um, start growing and let's go and see our arugula. So with our endive, only two of the pods that we started a week ago started germinating and then I had to add seeds. Over here, one, two, three, four. That I know already started germinating that I, as I said, I saw earlier yesterday. The camera comes closer. I added more seeds, so I see germination, but it will stay covered until it gets somewhere. I do see germination over there also. So after one day, so this is the surprising thing which I wanted to show you about uh, hydroponics. The germination process is far too quick. Um, when, when you start doing it in regular soil, whatever good medium, like uh, perlite or whatever you add in it, it takes a bit longer. So that's my arugula. Globe, uh, uh, spicy basil. Everything started germinating. So I had, didn't have to add any seeds. So Every seed or everything could be different. Let's see our last one. What has happened is with our mustard and with our basil, all six germinated. There are other two, the lettuce, the endive, and the arugula. The, 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 we were missing some. So I've added, but what I wanted to show you after one week, how big these plants are. Just to understand how big these plants are, this is my finger. Cement nail, that gives you an idea. That's our update. So let us check our progress after two weeks. We are at the two week mark. This is a mustard. Uh, generally, you, you can tell, but seeing from a hand, it will show you how big it is. Something I, I've been trying to show you on this video that with hydroponics, somehow the germination process and the initial process is much quicker. I do not know the answer yet, but so after mustard, let's uh, look at the basil. Again, with the looking at my hand, it looks small, but 
basil grows different than mustard, but still all the six uh, pods are growing. So they, they are doing well. One of the lattices, and remember that like three of the pods we uh, added uh, seeds. The back one, it's actually big enough that it could be added to the garden. I'm not about to do that uh, right now, but it's almost ready. Last but not least, arugula. Again, pretty big. Whatever did not germinate and we added seeds. Actually, last week, like eight days ago. So they're growing. Uh, some of these plants are already ready to be uh, planted outside. I'll wait a day or two and then we'll go and the garden we created, our um, vertical garden, we'll add to it. Keep up with, with the progress and let's see. So after 19 days, this is where we are. So we'll start picking these so they can go outside now. So this was the endive. See the nice root system. This is arugula. That's the one which has done the best. It looks beautiful right now. So even with the spicy glow basil, uh, four of them are done well. Two of them are small. So the, those two small ones will stay here. And I think just like the arugula, the other thing which has done very well is the mustard. Here's the mustard, much taller. There is one plant which is smaller. And I think that has to do that the other one got too big too quick and there was lack of light. So let me pull off these, all of these out. I'll move everything else in one of the systems. And then I'll see you outside and we'll plant them in our vertical garden. So this is what we got. Uh, 18 different plugs. Uh, I have mustard, I have basil, endives and arugula. Have a look how healthy they look. So let's start plugging them in in these holes. And as I do that, go ahead and watch the video where we show you how we build this. My hope is that these plugs are easier to put in compared to. Okay, this one is difficult. Soil is a bit far. Let's see this one. Okay, I can get into this one. Okay, what, what I think I'll do is I'll plug all these. I'll get some soil. I'll add the soil uh, just so that it, it's stable. So to show you, I'll go and put it like this. Put some soil around to pack it and then it will uh, look better. So let me get off camera. I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. So our experiment still goes on. So what was the experiment? Upscaling something we found for free, converting into uh, a, a tube which uh, mimics what a vertical garden is. Hegoculture technique going in there. Go watch the video, as I said earlier, where we fill this and how we created this. Then this concept with the holes, uh, two things we did. We did plugs which were done with the regular soil uh, medium, uh, like some of the, these. And then today we added more over here, uh, which are done in hydroponics. I do want to see the difference. Uh, does it make a difference? So a couple of experimentation, ecoculture, uh, the tube uh, vertical. Uh, hydroponic uh, seed start, regular medium seed start. We are getting into fall, not uh, in a few weeks. So let's see how it goes. There are things which I planted here when we started all this. Let's see what we get out of it. Even if we don't, we'll get a lot of learning for next year. And that's what we try to do. Learn, 
we we'll try to teach what we know we try to learn from others if you have about this experiment some ideas please write uh, uh, in the comments we will surely we surely read those not only we read but if we find something we'll try to research it and try to implement it all that said thank you very much for watching it was another episode of my friend bob hope you liked uh, this video subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon goodbye